Straight up, if you watch this video through, you will probably think differently about reality and what you're capable of. But first, let me start with some stories for context. And to help me tell these stories, normally I would just draw everything by hand, but today I'm gonna use some AI so that I can produce the video way faster. We just have a lot going on right now. So first, there was a study done in 1996 where an orthopedic surgeon gave 10 surgeries to patients with osteoarthritis of the knee. In this study, two of the men were given the standard surgery. Three of them received a surgery called a lavage, a washing out of the arthritic material, and the five remaining got a sham surgery. What that means is they were cut into and then sewn back up and nothing more. Keep in mind, these men did not know that they were having a sham surgery. All 10 patients reported greater mobility and less pain. Afterwards, the same doctor did a larger study involving 180 patients and continuously saw the same results. Everyone was improving, regardless of what kind of surgery they had, including the fake ones. This one study was also very similar to one that took place in the 1950s, where two groups of researchers conducted studies comparing the then standard surgery for angina to a placebo. Angina is a chest pain caused by insufficient blood flow to the heart. And the procedure they used was to tie up damaged arteries, attempting to force the body to increase blood flow to the heart. So these two groups of researchers, one in Kansas City and one in Seattle, each secretly gave half of the patients real surgeries and the other half got sham surgeries. The results were insane. First, of course, 67% of patients who received the actual surgery felt less pain and needed less medication, while 83% of those who had the sham surgery had the same level of improvement. The placebo surgery actually worked better than the real one. But wait, this one is even more wild. A 1962 study in Japan was done with a group of children who were all extremely allergic to poison ivy. Researchers rubbed one forearm with a poison ivy leaf, but told them the leaf was harmless. Then they rubbed the child's other forearm with a harmless leaf, but told them it was poison ivy. All of the children developed a rash on the arm that had been touched by a harmless leaf. And 11 of the 13 kids did not get any rash where the actual poison ivy had touched them. These three stories are just three of many that I recently read in the opening chapter of Dr. Joe Dispenza's You Are the Placebo. My favorite story of all though was the last one from chapter one where there was a guy who thought he had been voodooed many years prior and had been chronically sick ever since. So when the doctor found out, he invented a story that the voodoo priest who hexed the guy put lizard eggs in his belly and one of the lizards was still in there eating the man from the inside out, causing his sickness. So the doctor then gave the man a drug that induced vomiting and slipped a lizard into the bucket after he finished purging. Sure enough, the man saw it and was so relieved he suddenly found himself cured. His chronic illness went away and he's been great ever since. Now, I'm only mentioning a few of these stories, but there are so many more for both positive and negative too. There was a story where someone thought they had cancer and believed they were going to die within a certain time frame, And sure enough, they did. But then only after they died, the doctors realized that their cancer diagnosis was a false positive and they actually had no cause of death except the belief itself. You see, beliefs are just that powerful they direct the course that the flow of our thoughts and feelings take through our body of consciousness, which directs not only our words and our actions, but our physiology and gene expression all the way down to our DNA. What? Mind blowing. And Dr. Dispenza has been working on this kind of stuff for years. He's helped countless people have amazing breakthroughs, showing how to miraculously heal their bodies, overcome depression, anxiety, disease, and illness, even make more money and just be happy and even find the perfect relationship. For the past few months, I've been binge reading his books. The first one I read was Becoming Supernatural, and I can't even begin to describe what kind of positive impact it's had on me. You can probably feel the shift in energy lately too. A lot of that book talks about different meditation practices to reorganize your brain and thought processing ability to invoke higher states of consciousness, access superconscious states, and elevate the state of consciousness within the self from more of a matter focus into an energy focus and things of this nature. You can tell I liked the book. See how much I highlighted? Imagine for a moment that you could live your highest ideal, the perfect dream version of yourself. And all that was required for you to embody it was just a matter of consistently changing your thinking enough 
that you break free of everything else that's keeping you limited. I mean, that's all I've wanted for all of us forever. And straight up, Joe Dispenza has a modern key for this. And I think everyone should know about it. Truth is, I actually was planning to film a video just talking about all of this stuff, what I was reading and how it was so impactful. But then literally this morning, my friends at Gaia reached out to me and said for the next week, they are giving away Joe Dispenza's Rewired series for free to anyone who signs up right now. And I thought, wait, I've been reading all of his books lately, but I hadn't even seen Rewired yet. So I just watched the first episode and I am so excited to binge the whole thing but I had to finish making this video first so that I could invite you to come and watch it alongside me. I can definitively say from what I've seen, Rewired is brilliant. Joe has put all of his wisdom and insight from everything he's learned together into a video series on Gaia that you can enjoy right now. As usual, you'll find the links in the description to sign up for free, but you have to act quickly because the offer expires very soon. If you're watching this video after that sign up window, check the link anyways, just in case. Of course, you can also go to your local bookstore and see if you can find a copy of his books. They're very good material if you're more of a reader. Thank you so much and happy transforming. See you next time. Can you teach your body emotionally what that future will feel like before it's made manifest? You can't wait for your wealth to feel worthiness and abundance. You can't wait for your new relationship to feel love. You can't wait for your healing to feel gratitude. That's the old model of reality. The quantum model of reality is breaking the habit of the old self and reinventing the new self.